Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? So I have another update about the Ruby Frankie case. That's right, because I just found out in the news uh, that apparently, get this, police were called to the house of Ruby Frankie 15 times uh, prior to her being finally arrested. And currently, as of me recording this video, she has been charged with six felony counts of child abuse. Uh, and, you know, during those 15 times that police came to Ruby Frankie's house, uh, I'm just wondering how the heck can they be called 15 times and, you know, nothing happens. You know, something should have been done during those 15 times in my opinion well obviously i've been also reading that i guess police took one of the kids to the hospital and my biggest question is you know uh after that incident how the heck uh, did uh was ruby frankie still allowed to maintain custody of her kids is beyond me because you know when you have cops being called to the home 15 times that's right 15 times then clearly something should have been done during those 15 times something major you know to prevent the further um the further abuse that you know the uh the kids of ruby frankie were experiencing that's right obviously um i just don't know what else to say about this and also i guess you could say this is another one of those uh, cases where police and the CPS they fail to do their job properly just because you know the neighbors they've done more in my opinion in this case than the police and the CPS have done because obviously uh, the neighbors they are the ones that really you know I feel like uh, deserve the most credit you know for finally getting uh, you know the kids out of the hellhole they were in because you know during those uh, during those uh, times you know that Ruby Frankie was allowed to maintain custody of her own kids you know because obviously in other words she i guess uh you know still was able to see her kids but the way how i see it man you know after that hospital incident where one of the kids i guess was malnourished that's when something should have been really done the way how i see it just because i mean no excuses for for uh for what uh, ruby frankie did to those kids is just is unexplainable it's vile it's really just uh goes to show you here how some people just should not be uh allowed to have kids if they are going to treat their kids this horribly that's right because it's like you know when it comes to parents having kids you know once you uh you know once once parents uh if you if you become a father or a mother you're supposed to commit your life to that kid okay no other way to say it. it's like if you're going to be a father or a mother then you really need to commit your life to that kid okay and give them the best possible life they could really uh want you know just give them a normal life just like other kids and i feel like this is one of those cases here where the kids basically were deprived of a normal life and a normal childhood you know they were basically uh not able to live a, a normal life like how any other normal kid would live their life and uh, you know just the fact that police were called 15 times and you know during those 15 times ruby frankie was still allowed to you know keep the custody of her kids is what's really i guess you could say alarming about this case here but yeah uh you know currently charged with six counts of uh, felony uh, child abuse and uh, all i have to say is you know she is uh ruby frankie 100 guilty because uh just no excuse for what she did no none so that's pretty much it here with the video um let me know what you think about it